Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival Alpha 12 Experimental and here we are at my base. Apologies for that short video introduction. What actually happened is I came in to start to prepare for this video where we're going to be going out into space. So and I was making a few things in the, in the constructors and what happened is we had a base attack come in and life got a little bit interesting. They did manage to punch a hole through here and uh, you can see I've now repaired it with a concrete block. So uh, things are okay. And that was actually the first base attack I've had since uh, on this restart. And what we're going to be doing in this part is we're going to get out into space and visit the moon because I've, I've been thinking about the way forward and I need two things. I need neodymium to get the CV and I need raw titanium in order to upgrade my SV and I think the best chance of finding those will be on the moon because that we've got the mission where is it which one is it the solo mission here I says here story off world gra um, grave it says here, the titan crashed on the planet's moon maybe the wreckage will reveal more info I think that's the mission I want to follow but before that we've got to do a bit of preparation as we saw I was doing the first thing I want to do while I'm thinking about it is I'm going to come into here I want to take that off get that yeah, I know I've got no oxygen, but it won't be long. And what I want to do is put the EVA suit on, the radiation protection. Well, I mean, the, I know the light suit isn't much use for many things, but yeah, I, I feel that I probably need it if I'm going to get things done. You can see I've also made some extra ammunition, so we're going to put that into the silver shade because we may get into a little bit of trouble. The other thing I want to do is just check the silver shade, make sure that we've got the fuel, we'll just make sure that all the fuel is completely topped up. The oxygen is, well, put a little bit of oxygen in, oh, no. Okay. We've got some oxygen bottles, we've got a multi tool, a large wreckage. I've made some four cores so that we can core the crash ships. We don't need that much oxygen, but we'll take a little bit more oxygen with us. The problem is it's going to... No, I don't think we need that much oxygen, to be honest. Probably take some power cells with us, just to make sure. And let's check my... So we've got a thousand rounds of ammunition. I don't really need that, so we can put this in. In there. And this can go in the out constructor. I really wouldn't mind making a sniper rifle, to be honest. Can I, can I make a sniper rifle? Uh, weapons. Yeah, we've, got, we've got weapons for it there. We've got, we can make the sniper rifle. So I think we're just going to knock out a sniper rifle as well. I, I just like the idea of having the ranged attack. Mm, we'll probably make about 20 of those. Um, let's, I suppose we better check the food situation as well. It's getting quite low. I mean, I've got 19 of these. Let's have a look at. What have I got in the fridge here. We got. S oh, we can put that in there. We can turn those in energy bars. I think we're eat the ham now. That would push up my capacity there. Silver shade. Fridge. Let's take that there. We probably don't need the milk. That, that. No. That's good for indigestion. That doesn't do anything. Actually, why did I put that in there? We got five bars. Kind mm. to take the natural sweet with me just in case as well. That's good for dermal bones and indigestion. Fruit juices will take those as well, and I think that is about it. All we need now is the sniper rifle finished, and then we can. Right, so we've got what do we want? Well, we can take that off. We'll put time to rearrange the scanner there. That fills the bar up. We've got 150 rounds of sniper ammunition that should be okay because I'm not planning on going into a major war but I do like the idea of having enough to defend myself 
and I think it's now time to go. Thrusters on. And up we go. And what we're going to do is get up into space and see what's up there. So here we are, we're up in space. You can see the top distillery is 27.2 kilometers away. This is the new spread out space that was introduced as part of the, um, I think it was the 4.1 update. And this is going to make life a little bit more interesting. I'm not going to go there at the moment because what I do really want to do is get to the moon first. And it looks like the moon might be hidden behind the planet. Great. Just throw out a scan. Wow. What have we got? It's off. A whole load of stuff over there, 13 kilometers away. So that's the top distillery. There's something there. That looks very much like the moon there. Uh, I don't really want to get mixed up with that. It's just there's something. 2.7 kilometers there. I think we'll head for that. Just check that out. As long as I'm heading towards the moon, I'm sure that is the moon, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's the moon there. We've got an admin building there, admin building there, level one. We've got a Polaris trading station, which could be useful. Um, that's obviously some kind of Polaris ship. I'm not that interested in that. I think what we will do is just turn off the inertia, save a bit of fuel. I think we can probably go for whatever this is here. So I've actually been watching Spange's playthrough at the moment where he's up with the legacy and I must admit uh, seeing the defenses go down, take his shields down so quickly on his SV was a little bit concerning and I've got a feeling that life in the future isn't going to be as easy as it used to be. Wow, well, this is a derelict ship. This is pretty good. There's a lot of good loot on here. And we'll certainly be coming back to there. But what I really want to do now is get to this moon. Oh, what's that over there? I think this is part of the new playfield view. Yeah, that's actually a... I was going to turn the inertia on. I was going to crash into the surface. Here we are, the wreckage the size of the Titan should be easy to find, yes. I can actually even find the planet, let alone... Where where are we? Yeah, I don't think we're actually down there. We're still 600 odd metres above the surface of the moon. Of course, with my luck, we're going to... Wow, what happened there? I say with my luck, we're liable to come... <coughs> crash into the surface. Well, there's a whole pile of resources there. I was just about to say with my luck, oh wow, I don't ever recall doing that before. <laughs> I Put it this way, I seriously doubt, I could, if I planned to do that, I doubt if I could seriously could have been able to do it. Right, we've got loads of resources here. Can't just get into some daylight. I think if we go slightly west nice thing about moons is that they're not that big. Cannon drones here. Because I can't, it's going to be really difficult to see them. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll follow the daylight round. If we can get to the daylight. Yeah, let's just fly west. We'll come back for those. Now, as I say, if any of you are peering at the screen, seeing what the heck's going on, you're exactly the same as me. I can't see anything at all beyond a black area. Okay, we're finally getting into the daylight here. I think that could be the crash type. Wow. Let's wait for the scanner to recharge. Well, we found the crash Titan. Wow. That, I'd love to get into there. There's a rocket drone there, so we're going to have to start the moon approach we found there right we're gonna have to try and get down some of these um, 
rocket drones. I'm really glad that I brought plenty of ammunition with me. Oh, we've got, at least on the moon we've got a longer range. down yeah. oh, we found a titanium deposit as well oh this is uh, gonna be very valuable <laughs> right, the first thing we're gonna do is grab these drones Every resource I can get at the moment. That's the other two. Loot these out. In fact, looking at this, it, we may need several trips to the moon because the carry capacity on here isn't particularly that good. Wait, get off the ground. Sniper rounds. And there's the other one. Get these looted out. So cobalt alloy sniper rounds. Crash Titan rear there. Well, that's 1.4 kilometers away. I think I'd like to get at least a little bit of titanium before we do anything else. So we're just going to get in here. Getting close, we're just going to stay powered up. Double tap. We have to keep an eye out for drones. And oops, oh. And we're also going to need to uh, make sure we get a link to the China controller. Three. And I'm not sure whether titanium. Oh, oh titanium is actually going to be a texture. That's always that's better than the little blue circles. So, of course we've got no constructor to turn this into rods, which of course rods is the equivalent of ingots for other resources. An interesting twist because you would have thought that they would have just called it titanium ingots. here. I say the titanium has to be the number one priority. In fact, let's just have a quick look. We've got two titanium deposits, five iron, five silicon, three three cobalt. We certainly could do with the cobalt, three magnesium and four pentaxid. Yes, that's certainly this one's actually a small deposit, so I'm just gonna drop that in here. Close. Five, double tap, and I've lost the. And just get straight down onto. Hopefully, this would give me more than enough to be going on with. Got you. That feels about that's going to be it. Let's have a quick. Quick that. it. So how much can we get? Got 227 titanium ore. Probably get rid of most of this. So keep a little bit of rock. Just I mean rock's not exactly I'm um, just gonna check out what's over here first before we go back to the Titans. We can always also take down these minigun drones. Get 
get some height. It's quite difficult to see whether I'm actually hitting them, actually. Go down. Okay, this is a large one. This will be... Gonna be up on him. Watch out. Wow. That could be worth taking out. And wow. Oi. <laughs> Don't do this to me, game. Don't do it to me. Probably got a pentaxid deposit. We're certainly gonna get in on here. <sighs> Let me just grab this. Oscillator, large Promethean fuel tank. So let me take that. I'm just gonna sky into this little moon crater here. Oh well, pretty average loot on that, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So it's a very small pentaxi deposit. We might as well hook this while we're at it as well. Okay. Okay. Am I doing for weight? Already nearly halfway up. Generally, very small pentaxes is just one little boat. And you just got 10 pentaxes for that. Oh well. 10 pentaxes is 10 pentaxes. That's all there is to it. Right, let's just get back to the Crash Titans. This is the front. Oh, look, look, give it once over. Mid section. This is the midsection here. Looks like there's going to be plenty of good loot on here. Let's have a look. I'm not sure we're going to get any. Okay. I think we'll start with the, the front. Probably might pay to land on top actually. I find somewhere to, uh, a bit of a flat area there. So if I land about here, I think we'll get the thrusters off. Oh, hold on a second. What's that? Station service is not active. There is no base with a station service nearby. Okay, that's interesting. I suppose that is the teleporter, and I think we'll just drop you some low down like that. Okay. Crash Titan, what have we got here? Oh, we got one thruster. Are you kidding me? Load of bunk beds, a bridge. Oh, that's a bridge. Well, we got. <laughs> Veggie burger. Uh, O2 tank. Where are you? It's a little bit disappointing. Whoops. Up. Um, certainly gonna get you out. Oh. 
actually before we do that just turn that off um uh, retrieve whole blocks large o2 tank I'll make sure that I can get back to my ship. Where's this thruster? Where are you, thruster? Thrusters down under here. Um, there it is. I was hoping to get some grow plots, but it doesn't look like it. Let's just have a little check for We've got an armor locker, fifty-six percent. We've got twenty-nine doors, We've got thirteen cargo boxes. Yeah, and let's just. Go through the cargo boxes. Get that. Um, get that. Get that. Get your gun two, two, three. Cobalt alloy. That'd be useful. Uh, cargo pallets. Motors. Yep. Take it out. Oops. Matrices and this capacitors and we've done the fridge. Okay. And you can go back up there or we'll just put this get rid of these blocks of because we're nearly full up already is a cause for concern. Uh, the fuel tank. Drop this up into the. Uh, is that what my? Uh, what I'm making now? The, the MCR Pioneer feature. That's it. In here. Now we're going to do the. Now we'll, we need a lot more thrusters for the Neodymium. So I've got that. Give me Neodymium. No, nope, let's just give me. Oh, we're pushing the Cobalt forward anyway. I think that we've got about we've got about everything we can from here at the moment in the way of key resources. Um, right, it says the rear is over this way. I think the rear is probably going to be a far more useful source, but I think I need to get rid of these drones here, so we'll just get a bit more heights. Come on. Watch it three. So we'll just get in and loot these. Wow. And we may have a bit of a problem when I return to the home planet because there's a very real possibility the ship would be overloaded. ammunition um. 
mechanical components come from rockets. No. Oops, forgot to cancel the. Right, let's just get over here and call this rear section. See if we can get anything a little bit better from here. This time, I think we'll just land. And this is going to be quite a big ship. We get in nice and close, like that. Rusters. Okay. Low down like that. Chip, what have you got for me? Right, we got another 13 cargo boxes. And then we got four, three enclosed thrusters. Four, four thrusters. This game is definitely not making life easy for us anymore. Ammo box. My box is empty, cargo box is one, uh, cargo box two, three, multi tool. Yeah, we'll take multi tool. Uh, a few hardened steel plates, a bit of that, closet, like radiation protection. Yep, might be able to sell that. Ah, medium armor, yes. Certainly, oh, heavy armor, that's even better. Um, having access to heavy armor is going to make me feel a lot more comfortable now about going into POIs. I mean, light armor is okay, but at the same time, it's not the best thing for getting into, uh, you know, combat, especially when your weapons are a little bit light. It's just, it says it's 59, so it's over there. Oh, of course, it's oh, great. Oh, I got my jetpack on. No, I haven't. Okay, that might help. I explain why things have been a little bit difficult. It's just, I'm just uh, jetpack to build up. Uh, I'm just going to move around to. Just that mini gun that I've shot up, or was that another one coming in? Let's just turn you off so I don't get confused. I know you're in there somewhere. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go for retrieve blocks. This is hardened steel. Actually, just to salvage these. I think the titanium plates would be. Got some carbon composite. That's okay. Actually, these are. I'll retrieve these edges. Ah, look at that. Nearly made a mistake there. Carbon composite blocks could be useful because I can put those up into. The workshop as well. Just grab a few of these, just make a little bit of an entrance here. Um, just out there. Oops. What have we got? That can go. That can go. Thruster on. No, we're going to have to do this the hard way. 
think we'll put the safety and plates up in here. Well, let me put a little bit more. It's just steel. That's plenty of rods. I think we're okay for safe buildings, but half. Oh, no, don't let me. Okay. Item not accepted. Uh, actually, we'll keep the doors in there for the moment. Cancel you. Okay. I don't know what else is in here. Got an, an O2 station as well. Find the o large O2 tanks. Show on HUD. That could be useful. And so hopefully this will take us to the other enclosed thruster. Okay, we've still got thrusters on. Right, the O2 tank and the thrusters are on this side. is a fin. Right, this is the uh, large O2 tank through here. Some point odd meters that way. Don't be kidding me, it's up there. Okay, okay we'll just have to do this with using the ship. Do the O2 tanks first. I can get into them. Two tank is through there. There's the archer. Two tank. If I open up this area a little bit here, we should be able to get close enough with the ship to be able to get to that without jumping around too much. Just check this out. Can you get in a bit closer? Yeah, you should be able to get closer now. Okay. Five hundred. Two out of that. Oxygen. Okay, we'll just retrieve that. Back into the ship. And of course I didn't ah. Right, let's just get back to carbon composite up, not that it's going to save that much weight, but we can drop that, that'll save me a bit of weight, steel plates that can go in, just going to move you into there, you into there, you into there as well, cancel. Forty-two car ah, pick stone up again. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yes, what's this small O tank, O two tank that time? 
Come on, small or not, it's, I can go in. How can we get to this thruster? Actually, just tag them all, I think. Roughly the same location. I think we're coming from the top. Oops, come on, back a bit. This is off. Down in here somewhere in this mess. Oh, well, I'm running out of oxygen as well. Pop up the oxygen a bit. Oh. All that's linked in. Whoops. Salvage. Oh, get rid of you. There's the thruster. I don't know which one it is. Hey, turn them all off, and then we'll turn them all back on again. Get you. Well, we'll just retrieve you. Picking up the carbon composite. Uh, what we got in here? Just kind of tidy our way through this a little bit. Yeah. What's this? Oh, it's just a cargo box, which we'd already emptied. Let's just pump some more of this up into the workshop. Chop that into here. Okay, we're, we're slowly getting there. At this rate, we're going to run out of iron ingots. This is going to make it a little bit tricky to put things into here. Oh, we've got some there. Ah, and it tells me it's ah, I've dropped it. Okay. Oh, do, do, do. Blocks. This certainly comes into the classification of doing things the hard way. And just pick you up. Get you straight up into the workshop. So we're over halfway there with the neodymium and carbon substrates, no problem. Cobalt, we should have enough. Silicon and copper. Grow plots, well, we're just going to have to work with glow, grow plots. Glow plots, what am I talking about? Uh, let's see, anything else in here? Armor locker, cloth. Dining table, we've got those ventilated. Some RCSs. They could be good, depending on what level they are at. Where's the RCS is? RCS down there. Getting to here. So. Right, we're on the extreme range, but we'll be okay. Four point 
to need to it's the RCS. You are and we'll just retrieve you. Are you only uh, you I'm just pointing the ship again? Where's the other RCS is? Go on hard. Oh, it's 16 meters that way. Oh, there you are. <laughs> um, and you off there. Uh, let's pick you up. And last one. 3.2 meters. So you're actually there. That's good. Nicely grouped together. Way. I think thought it was going to be the quick way, but it's an even quicker way, and that's to do it that way. Okay, it looks like the inventory is full again. Thank you, game. We're definitely going to have to get rid of some of these Sathian plates, so we might as well put them up in the thing. I don't think these are going to. Oh, they've added a bit to the near divium. Thank you, game. Seven. Oh, yes. Right there. Right, maybe we can drop some steel plates in. You in? I think it's you up to just short of a thousand. Anything else of value? We've got no thrusters left, got doors, armor lockers, dining table, L2 stations, RCS, fuel tanks. Okay, so we've got some tier 2 fuel tanks. Where are you hidden? Actually, let's just take the fuel out the quick way. Uh, manage the fuel, 823. Right, so we've got a bit more fuel. Is the fuel tanks are down here. Um, let's get straight through the floor. Hopefully they'll be all grouped together. Not my salvaging. Yeah, they're all together here. Which is good. Well, three of them are. Um, tree the tier twos, so it could be useful. Um, um okay, I'm just gonna put them up into the workshop. I don't think these actually have the Odivium in it, but we've now completed the silicon. Any more? We got all the fuel tanks. Now we've got two more. Just shell on hard. One there, another one above. Let's cancel you. I'm just going to take you and you. Um. Okay. Cancel out again. Some more stuff onto here. Here. And 
Well, we're making slow but steady progress. Oops, trust us back on. I mean, there's a lot more loot here, but not loot that I actually want at the moment. That's which is going to be the big problem. And I've just noticed the time, so I think this is where I'm going to leave it. What I will do off camera is carry on exploring this moon, see what we can find, and see if I can find some more crashed ships. For some reason, the mission hasn't moved on. Let me just have a quick look at that. I think we're just going to move forward that. Be wreckage for the size of Titan should be easy to find. Prologues that. Seems as broke Titan has broken into several parts. I think the mission got a little bit stuck there. We'll just let this mission run through. Not yet. If you make a fly on fly by of all three parts, then get a better get a bad, better scan results. 150 meters should be enough. And so what we'll do is we'll just do the flybys. Middle, and we're just going to do the front. Let this return perf this return perfect results. You should now go to the front part and land an info. We've marked an entry point. Hopefully, I won't have an actually. <laughs> this is giving me goosebumps. I obviously I didn't see that. There's some secret technical details of construction that might be found. Okay. Secrets you say? Commander, I do not. Please wait. Signal has activated. Okay. Um, I want to stay close to my ship just in case we suddenly get attacked or something stupid like that. Okay, we're protocol. Find override code console. Integrated data assistance emergency shutdown. Great. Whole, ex whole expedition is absolutely doomed. Find an access. And let's just have a little bit of a walk through. Let's see. Um, yeah, let me just let me just turn this off and we'll just have a little bit of a walk through. Uh, just salvage so I can walk through. All of what I found. Should definitely should have searched these a little bit more carefully, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, we're so busy looking for thrusters. I mean, this window could be quite useful. Oh, here's the console. Press F to talk. Maintenance access point out of order. Reactivate. Activation failure. Lockdown mode mode protocol wave rider. Uh, enter your UCH cringe credentials anyway. Access granted. Level black. Welcome, Commander. Please note that the AI hub is not available. Services are limited while the ship is under enemy control. Please make your choice. Let's get the latest status report. All status reports have been erased by information not available. Note, there is a file tag personally for you. Thank you, signature M. Play the file, yes, play the file. File something classified, Admiral rank, secret communication protocol, decorate, decoded permission, all oh, that went a bit quick. Please authenticate. Uh, 
uh, black black hyphen setting private mode welcome back commander mercer oh man that's who i am am i hello ida how how are you today i am fine commander so this is the day yes this will be our last conversation i'm afraid sad to hear this sir starting uch protocol alpha your orders sir Please list Operation Phoenix main vessels, locate and status. Preparing list. Thing. UCH Titan Command Ship, Apollo Station, Final Warp Preparations. UCH M5, Second Apollo Station, Final Warp Preparations. Earth Moon Orbit, waiting for flight team. Marine Base, waiting for ammo and personnel. Uh, Roswell, Second Class Apollo Station, waiting for equipment. Dr. MS Titan, unloading supplies. Main main transport doctor MS Titan unloading supplies, Heidelberg transport heading for Apollo and station, heading for Apollo and station. Do you also wish to review the status of the support craft and armed forces? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Please list the current location and permission status for the MS Titan command crew. Searching UCH location database. Admiral Roland, fleet permission rank blank. Wow. Purple. Something permission rank red. And permission rank red. Wait, finish soon. I'm going to run out of oxygen. Red. Orange. Thanks, IDA. Please issue prepared reallocation list in about one hour from the following start. Okay. I shall report to MS Titan tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Let's just try and speed through this a little bit. Preparation on track meeting targeted timelines. All vessels ready to depart as planned. Yes. Predicted time. Are there any problems? Everything is fine. Just if you wish to proceed. We have no other choice, IDA. Thank That's correct, sir. Time has come. Yes, I'm quite excited. Please, good to know, IDA. Please start the childhood program. Program initiated, decryption in process. Uh, personal command code permission status black. Wow. So thanks, IDA. Sir, sir, do you really need to go on this journey? Yes. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure you will. Last thing to do, please send wave right. Wow, this is a long conversation. And I'm running out of oxygen. Accepted. Thanks, IDA. Commander Steven Silverberg is justified. I've been promoted to a commander. Fate of two galaxies seems to be in your hands now. Uh, please start the countdown. Yes, I wish that you were the best. Thanks, IDA. Farewell. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, starting countdown. End of file. Find out about M. What is M? Mission classified. Ask about crewman. Searching crew database. There's only one crewman with that surname, John Edward Mercer Jr., second commander. Uh find about Okay, we're back to main menu. Find information about override codes. Code black confidential information. For your eyes only to generate an override code to access the fail safe. Oh, I missed that. And then all all persons below access at all costs. Enter credentials again. Authorization approved. Recovery main key generated. Recovery information find three randomly prepared consoles. They are spread over the front, middle, and back of the ship. Each console will automat automatically update its code fragment when the recovery main key is, is positioned within two meters of the console. Good luck. Okay. So, of course, these codes are distributed over the Titan, one in each record, wreckage, no doubt. So, we've got to go looking for cons. Oh, wow, I'm too hot. I'm getting cooked. Okay, I need to get out of here. Um, how the heck am I going to get out of here? And of course, I'm running out of oxygen as well. Let's pump in some oxygen. So our next mission is to find three consoles scattered across the Titans. Anyway, let's just get back to my ship. I'm way too hot at the moment. I'm just going to jump into the ship. That should cool me down. And I've got the Titan code recovery main key. Required to reveal a code fragment with each within one of the three prepared Titan consoles in the Titan. 
Uh, so maybe going out and looting into the Titans was probably not one of my better ideas. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. I think what I probably will have to do is return to my home base and offload some of this stuff. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.